welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti bari bharti sanjari harti leelaya विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करति बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया अवर एम इन दिस कोर्स इज टू स्टडी द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ समास इन संस्कृत नेमली अव्ययी भाव बहुव्रीही एंड द्वंद्व वी हैव ऑलरेडी studied the avyayi bhava samasa as well as the bahuvrihi samasa now remains the dvandva samasa which we shall study from this lecture onwards dvandva is yet another extremely important type of samasa in sanskrit whose features can be shown in the form of an equation in brief shown on this slide where you have x and y two independent entities in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as the accent there is a plus sign in between them which indicates that they are semantically related and therefore the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and the process then follows and the output generated is x y one unit and the three features of this xy are aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadata and aikasvarya or ekasvarata now as far as the dvandva samasa is concerned both x and y are shown in the bold letters this indicates that both x and y act as the head of this particular samasa it was x which acted as the head in the avyayi bhava samasa therefore we marked x only in the bold letters in the avyayi bhava samasa equation as far as the tatpurusha samasa is concerned y was marked as bold because y acts as the head in the tatpurusha samasa in the bahuvrihi samasa none of the x and y acts as the head so none of the x and y was put in the bold characters however in dvandva samasa both x and y act as the head and therefore they are both marked in the bold letters in the ashtadhyayi the dvandva samasa has got only one samasa vidhayaka sutra namely charthe dvandvaha 2.2.29 charthe dvandvaha there is only one samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutra namely 5.4.106 there are only a few swara vidhayaka sutras namely 6.2.34 onwards up to 37 then there are ekavad bhava vidhayaka sutras in the section from 2.4.1 onwards or 2 onwards up to 16 and the linga vidhayaka sutra the gender vidhayaka sutra is stated at 2.4.26 this is how dvandva samasa is treated at various places in the ashtadhyayi let us first study the samasa vidhayaka sutra namely charthe dvandvaha there are two padas in the sutra charthe and dvandvaha so charthe is 7/1 of chartha what it means is in the meaning of the word ch the dvandva samasa takes place 
the words continued are samartha padavidhi from 211 sup from 212 sahasupa from 214 samasaha from 213 then anekam from 2 to 24 and the meaning of the sama sutra would be the following in the meaning of the word ch many words ending in sup which are semantically related to each of the words ending in sup are compounded and the resultant compound is termed as dvandva i repeat in the meaning of the word ch many words anekam in the meaning of the word ch charthe many words that is an ekam ending in sup sup which are semantically related samarthaha to each of the words ending in sup supa sah are compounded samasyante and the resultant compound samasaha is termed dvandva dvandvaha obviously the next question is what are the meanings of the word ch intended over here ch means and so what are its meaning the meaning of ch is and with four additional features they are samuchchaya anvachaya itare tare yoga and samahara all these four mean and but there are some additional features and shades involved in these different categorizations samuchchaya anvachaya itare tare yoga as well as samahara amongst these four meanings two are such that the dvandva samasa does not take place when they get denoted they are samuchchaya and anvachaya and two meanings are such that the dvandva samasa does take place when they get denoted and they are itare tara yoga and samahara respectively let us study these four one by one first let us see what is samuchchaya samuchchaya is nothing but conjunction the traditional commentators provide the explanation of samuchchaya in the following manner paraspara nirapekshasya anekasya ekasmin pratisambandhini anvayah samuchchayah i repeat paraspara nirapekshasya anekasya ekasmin pratisambandhini अन्वयः समुच्चयः association with one respective connection of the many unrelated is called समुच्चय परस्पर निरपेक्षस्य many unrelated अनेकस्य एकस्मिन् प्रतिसंबंधिनि अन्वयः so the correlation or the respective connection of the dravya in dravya so two substances in one substance so the anvaya of two substances in one substance dravye guna two properties in one substance gune dravye two substance in one property dravye dravye two substances in one substance and let us take some examples and explain this so radnyah gauscha ashvascha in the king the bull as well as the horse they get associated rajan is the dravya go and ashva both are also dravya so there is samuchchaya of go and ashva samuchchaya of the dravyas two substances in one substance namely rajan sometimes there is the samuchchaya of two gunas in one dravya two properties in one substance like pataha raktaha shuklascha here we are talking about the cloth pataha and this has got two qualities the collection of two qualities raktaha shuklascha the redness as well as whiteness is associated with this substance pata sometimes in guna the two substances they get associated gune dravye two substances in one property raktaha pataha kundalancha in the redness cloth and the ring are associated 
Similarly, kriyayam dravye, two substances associated in one action, ishvaram gurum cha bhajasva, worship God as well as the teacher. Here both God and teacher are associated with an action of worshipping, where we notice that there are actually two sentences, ishvaram bhajasva, worship the God, gurum bhajasva, worship the teacher, and they are merged together by addition of the cha, indicating the samuchaya. So we have Ishwaram Gurum Cha Bhajasva. Since both God and the teacher are related to the action of worshipping and not with each other, they cannot be said to be in Vyapeksha and hence there is no Samarthya and hence there is no Samasa taking place. So the traditional commentators say, Samuchaye na samasaha asamarthyat. Let us now study Anvachaya. Anvachaya is explained in the traditional commentator commentaries as Yada anekasya pradhanyat tadanu rodhena twitarat anvachiyate tada anvachayaha. I repeat, Yada anekasya pradhanyat tadanurodhena tvitarat anvachiyate tada anvachayah. When something secondary is connected in accordance with the main which is many fold, then such a collection is called anvachaya. When something secondary is connected in accordance with the main which is many, that is called anvachaya. Thus we have bhikshamata gamcha anaya. There are two sentences. Bhiksham at Gamcha Anaya. Wander for the alms and bring the cow back. There are two sentences. The main action intended over here is Bhiksham at Wander for the alms. So the commentators explain this in the following manner. Atrahi Adarshanat Ananayanapi Gam Atatyeva Bhiksham. Here, due to non-visibility, suppose, the cow is not visible. Even though he does not bring the cow, he still wanders for the alms. Anatantu bhiksham na gamanayati. He does not bring the cow without wandering for the alms. Because the main action intended over here is wandering for the alms. Bhiksham at. Atannapi nanvishya gam anayati. While wandering, he does not make any effort to find the cow and bring the cow back. So bringing the cow back is completely secondary and does not bear any significance on the main action which is wandering for the alms. Now, the commentators say that Anvachayetu apradhanam eva charthe vartate natu pradhanam iti anekasya padasya charthe vritya bhavat Samasa bhavaha. I repeat, Anvachayetu apradhanam eva charthe vartate natu pradhanam iti anekasya padasya charthe vritya bhavat samasa bhavaha. Since both arms and cow are not related to each other, they cannot be said to be in vyapeksha. And hence there is no samarthya, and hence there is no. Samasa. So the traditional commentators say Anvachaye na samasaha asamarthyat. There is no samasa because there is no semantic relatedness. What remains are the two other explanations of Chartha, namely Itaretara Yoga and Samahara. Let us study them now. Let us first study Itaretara Yoga. Itaretara Yoga is explained in the traditional commentaries as Paraspara Sapekshanam Avayava Bheda Anupagamena Samudaya Rupatam Apannanam Ekasmin Narthe Anvayaha When many elements which are interrelated and which become one without demonstrating the difference in the parts of them, when such elements are associated with one meaning, it is called Itaretara Yoga. I repeat, 
when many elements which are interrelated and which become one without demonstrating the difference in the parts of them when such elements are associated one meaning it is called iteratar yoga for example hari harau kurutaha in this hari harau is the samasa and there is iteratar yoga hari harau kurutaha means hari and har work together what is important to note here is that the meaning intended is hari sahitaha haraha hari works together with her and har sahitaha hari and har works together with hari so sahitya rests on both of them hari sahitaha haraha har sahitaha hari hi so sahita hari har kartrakam karanam iti bodha as the commentators explain similarly in the form prakshanya grodhau they say plakshopi nyagrodha sahaya nyagrodhopi plaksha sahaya this is explained in the commentaries using a technical term called yugapat adhikarana vachanata yugapat adhikarana vachanata which is highly debated and also discussed even in the modern times so here is the derivation of the samasa harischa harischa this is the laukika vigraha and so the alaukika vigraha is hari plus su plus hara plus su samasa saudnya takes place pratipadika saudnya takes place so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and we have hari plus zero plus hara plus zero and when we join them together we get the form hari hara then we add the supratyaya au hari hara plus au and then by applying the sandhi rules we get the form hari harau now here is an example where more than two elements are compounded simultaneously we have ramascha lakshmanascha bharatascha shatrughna so this is the laukika vigraha and the alaukika vigraha is rama plus su plus lakshmana plus su plus bharata plus su plus shatrughna plus su now the samasa saudnya takes place so the pratipadika saudnya takes place so supodhatu pratipadika yo applies and so we delete all the sups so we have rama plus 0 plus lakshmana plus 0 plus bharata plus 0 plus shatrughna plus 0 and when we join them together we get the form rama lakshmana bharata shatrughna as the finally derived dvandva samasa output rama lakshmana bharata shatrughna now to this word we add the suffix jas and then we get the form rama lakshmana bharata shatrughna so in this itaretara yoga both the constituents are are all the constituents of the samasa they act as the head and so their number also is represented by the respective vibhakti now let us study the remaining meaning of ch namely samahar paraspara sapekshanam ev avayavate bhedatirodhane samhati rupena yatra anvaya sa samahara this is how it is explained i repeat paraspara sapekshanam ev avayava bhedatirodhane samhati rupena yatra anvaya sa samahara that is called samahar where many interrelated entities which get associated with one entity as one group with the differences of parts disappeared that is called samahar i repeat that is called samahar where many interrelated entities paraspara nirapeksha sapekshanam eva which get associated with one entity 
एज वन ग्रुप संहति रूपेण यत्र अन्वय विद द डिफरेंसेस ऑफ पार्ट्स दिस अपियर्ड अवयव भेद तिरोधाने फॉर एग्जाम्पल छत्रोपान मानय ब्रिंग द ग्रुप ऑफ अम्ब्रेला एंड शूज टुगेदर सो वी हैव द लौकिक विग्रह छत्रम च उपानत च अनयो समाहारा हा एंड सो द अलौकिक विग्रह इज छत्र प्लस सु प्लस उपान प्लस सु नाउ वी एड द समासांत प्रत्यय टच ओवर हियर सो वी हैव छत्र प्लस सु प्लस उपान प्लस सु प्लस टच तवन्वाच्यो दशहांता समाहारे फाइव फोर वन जीरो सिक्स नाउ द प्रातिवधिक संज्ञा टेक्स प्लेस सो वी अप्लाय सुपोधातु प्रातिवधिक यो हो एंड सो वी डिलीट बोथ द सुप्स सो वी हैव छत्र प्लस जीरो प्लस उपान प्लस जीरो प्लस अ and then we join them together we get the form chatropanah then because this is a samahara so this samahara dvandva assumes the neuter gender sa napumsakam is the sutra and therefore this supratyaya is substituted by am and we get the form chatropanaham एज द प्रथमा एक वचन इन दिस केस द अम्रेला एज वेल एज द शूज आर इंटर रिलेटेड एज अ ग्रुप विद द डिफरेंसेस ऑफ देम बींग पार्ट दिस अपियर्ड दे गेट असोसिएटेड विद द एक्शन ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग एज वन ऑब्जेक्ट सो इट गेट्स द सफिक्स डिनोटिंग द सिंगुलरिटी बिकॉज इट इज समाहार विच इज वन the difference between itaretara yoga and samahara is stated in the following lines itaretara yoga udbhuta avayav bhedasyaiv samohasya pratitya pratyeka vritti dharma dvayam eva pravritti nimittam iti phalati samohasya tad anatireke naiva bhanat i repeat इतरेतर योगे उद्भूतावयव भेद से समूह से प्रतीत्या प्रत्येक वृत्ति धर्म दयामें प्रवृत्ति निमित्तम इति फलति समूह से तद अनतिरेक भानात व्हाट दिस मीन्स इज दैट द ग्रुप इज द हेड इन बोथ दीज केसेस इन द इतरेतर योग द ग्रुप इज कॉम्प्रिहेंडेड अलॉन्ग विथ द पार्ट्स and hence the properties residing in the parts become the core meaning of the compound and the group is never recognized never cognized without those parts and in samahara what happens is samahare tu atiriktatve naiva samuhasya bhanat tad vritti samaharatvam eva pravritti nimittam iti tad bhedo bodhya in case of the samahara the group is comprehended to be an additional entity over and above the parts and hence being a group itself becomes the core property of the compound this is the main difference between itaretara yoga and samahara to summarize itaretara yoga and samahara are the two meanings of ch in which the interrelatedness of meanings namely samarthya is visible and hence the dvandva samasa takes place only in these two meanings when the meaning itaretara yoga is denoted the compound takes the number of the parts of the interrelated group and when the meaning samahara is denoted the compound takes the singular number the number for a particular or any group we continue studying the dvandva samasa and the samasanta pratyaya as well as ekavad bhava etc in the coming lectures these are the texts referred to thank you very much